Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is about how TSA lockpicking has to do with government backdoored encryption. Last weekend was a conference called the HOPE Conference, and this is kind of a hacker security convention where researchers and hackers come together and share their latest research. At this particular convention, three members of an organization called TOOL, which stands for the Open Organization of Lockpickers, released their latest research on how they're hacking TSA's Safe Skies system. If you've traveled in the U.S., you probably know that when you check your luggage, the TSA searches it. If you actually lock it with a normal lock, they're going to cut that lock in order to to actually search your luggage. For that reason, they started this TSA Safe Skies program where certain luggage and lock manufacturers create a special lock, which TSA has master keys for, allowing them to safely open them, search your luggage, and lock it back up. Over the years, members of these lock picking organizations have been researching Safe Skies. And long story short, based on various leaks such as high resolution photos of master keys, they've been able to recreate seven of the eight master keys out there known for these locks. And at this latest HOPE conference, these three researchers finally released the master key for the eighth lock. And all of this was based on leaked information from some of the key escrows or the trusted third parties that stored this information. So you might be asking yourself, what does this lock picking have to do with digital security? If you've been watching my videos, you probably remember the controversy between the FBI and Apple. FBI had a terrorist phone which was encrypted, and they wanted Apple to create a special weakened version of their operating system to allow the FBI to crack that phone. And in the past, the FBI and other government authorities have also asked for some sort of master keys or access to consumer-like encryption. Now, these authorities say they don't want to spy on all our data. Rather, they say that in lawful criminal investigations, they need some sort of master key to access encrypted data for their investigation. Now, on the surface, this may not sound bad. Everyone wants law enforcement to be able to find bad guys, so you might think it's good to give them the tools they need for their investigation. But me and other security experts argue that you should not have some sort of third-party master key that gives others access to, say, something like encryption or any other security mechanisms. And this particular TSA law picking incident is a perfect example of why. When you have some sort of key escrow, a third party that's trusted to hold some sort of master key, that third party becomes a huge target. Any mistake by that third party could result in some sort of leak that gives everyone access to the master key, thus breaking your entire security mechanism. And this is why security experts are so against designing cryptography or security systems that have some sort of third party key with a key. Escrow. Anyway, the TSA lock picking research in itself was quite interesting, but the key takeaway in this story is the illustration of how key escrows can be dangerous. If you design systems that have a master key and you have to trust third parties with that particular key, you may put the entire system at risk if those third parties fail at their security. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.